Hi there, welcome back. This time, we will create a speed line effect template with Fusion tools in DaVinci Resolve. You can download the templates via the links in the description below as usual. Once it's installed or copied to the effects folder, we can easily drag and add a speed line effect clip to the timeline. If we extend or shorten the clip duration, the speed line animation is automatically adjusted to fit the clip duration. The animation gets faster if we shorten the clip and gets slower if duration is extended. In the Controls tab of the Inspector, there are a number of parameters to adjust styles, colors, and animation effects of the speed lines. Animation Speed allows us to change the speed. Invert Animation option sets the lines running towards or away from us. Using the X and Y scales, we can change the shape of the lines. For example, increasing the Y scale will make the lines shorter and wider. Decreasing the Y scale makes the lines thinner and longer. On the contrary, the lines get thinner when we increase X scale and wider with small X scales. If you like, you can change X and Y scales to create a space travel effect like this. Changing the angle will give us curved speed lines. Increasing random lines will generate more random lines and give the animation a more dynamic feel. Using the gradient color controls, we can change the color of the lines. Or add more colors to create colorful speed lines. The color offset parameter is used to control the number of lines, increase the offset to get more lines. Decrease the offset if you want less lines. If we just need simple moving lines, we can turn off the zoom lines option. Unlike in the zoom line mode, changing the angle parameter will simply change the angle of moving lines. The last three mask parameters are used to mask out the center part in the zoom line mode. If needed, we can change the mask width or height to zero and disable the mask. In the Soft Glow tab, with all the parameters from Fusion Soft Glow node, we can change the glowing effect as needed. To make things interesting, in the straight line mode, we can apply the OpenFX Vortex filter to the clip and create some cool animated backgrounds like this. Next I will go through detailed steps of creating this template using Fusion tools in DaVinci Resolve 18. Add a Fusion composition clip to the timeline from the effect panel and go to the Fusion page. Drag a background node from the toolbar to the node editor. Connect it to the Media Out node. Set the alpha to zero so that it turns transparent. Add a fast noise node to the editor and merge it with the background. Select the fast noise node and go to the inspector. In the noise tab, uncheck the lock XY option. Set X scale to 100. Y scale to 0.5. Seath rate to 0.25. Switch to the color tab. Change tab to gradient. Swap the Y and black colors. Move the black color to position 0.1. Set alpha to 0, so the ending color is transparent. Change the offset to 0.2. While the fast noise is still selected, press shift space to open the tool selection window. 
Find and insert a coordinate space node. In the inspector, change the shape to polar to rectangular. The lines are now animated randomly, but they don't feel like moving in one direction. Select the Fast Noise node and go to the Noise tab in the inspector. Right-click Center Parameter, choose Modify with Vector Result. Go to the Modifiers tab. Set Angle to 90. Right-click Distance Parameter and choose Modify with Anim Curves. Change the source to Duration. Scale to 10. This is the parameter we will use to control the animation speed. Play the clip. This is good now. To better see the result, we can turn off the checker background in the viewer. Select the Merge node and click the Ellipse button in the toolbar. This automatically connects an Ellipse node to the Merge node as Effect Mask input. Go to the inspector, check the invert option. Set the soft edge to 0.05. Set width to 0.6. Height to 0.4. Great, we now have created a zoom speed line animation effect. To switch the effect from zoom line mode to straight line mode, we can turn off the effect from the coordinate space node. Go to the setting tab in the inspector, change blend to zero. The effect now turns into straight moving lines. But the ellipse effect is still active. We need a way to reset the mask in straight line mode. Select the ellipse node, click the rectangle button in the toolbar to insert a rectangle node. In the inspector, Set the Paint Mode to Maximum. Change both Width and Height to 1. When we change the level between 1 and 0, it enables or disables the Ellipse Mask effect. Enter equal sign in the Input field to enable simple expression. Control click the Coordinate Space node to add it to the selection, so that we have both nodes available in the inspector. Click and drag a whip from the Add button to the Coordinate Space node, wait until the parameter page opens, continue dragging the whip over the Blend parameter, release the button. Change the expression to 1 minus the Blend, so that when we turn off the Zoom Line mode, the Rectangle Mask level will be set to 1, which ignores the Ellipse Mask, as the mode is set to Maximum. This blend parameter from Coordinate Space node will be used to select Speedline mode in our final saved macro template. One more node we want to add is the Soft Glow node. Select the Merge node, press Shift Space. Find and add a Soft Glow node. We now have completed the Fusion composition for the Speedline effect, and it's ready to create the macro. Select all the nodes except the media out, right-click and choose Macro, Create Macro. In the Macro Editor, enter the name and select the parameters we want to export with the macro. Select Save as Group and save to the folder as shown on the screen. That's it, we now have a generated template available in the Effects Library for reuse in the Edit page for other projects. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.